What? Pro tip would you like to give to the opposite sex? I don't know how you like it, so just say it. Edit. Didn't expect this to explode. Too many creative answers. Also thank you for the awards. Wash your ass. Enthusiasm is sexier than anything else. Please don't finger girls like you are digging for change. Do not be embarrassed to use the restroom before bedroom activities. No one wants to pretend they can smell that smell. Excusing yourself to wash is never going to be an issue. This goes both ways. Edit. Thank you for the awards. These stories are great. Girls come way longer than guys do. Don't pull out three seconds into my orgasm please. Thank you. Edit. Holy shit this blew up. Alrighty then. Also, do none of y'all use birth control. For fuck's sake, use a condom or something. If you find a beautiful individual, smart and funny don't instantly assume fear off limits. They could be quite lonely. Applies to both genders. We do not control unexpected boners. They surprise us just as much as they surprise you. This applies to both sexes. Don't play games. Be honest about your intentions with whoever you're with. If I'm wearing a button-down shirt and we are undressing each other, remember to unbutton the sleeves before you try to take it off. Female here. When you're going down on us and we're about to come, don't go faster or harder or change anything you're doing. Just keep doing the thing that got us to the point of coming. Things get hypersensitive down there so it's easy to overdo it in those moments and kill it. Men should make more noise. This is hot as hell when they make us see how they feel good during sex. Your fragrance should subtly enhance your presence not ominously warn of your impending arrival. Edit. Many have suggested the fragrance is better implied than announced quote, which I believe was from someone famous in the fashion world. It was certainly my inspiration. I took some artistic license. Thanks for the gilding. You're too kind. Girls, give guys more non-sexual physical attention. Head kisses and cuddles and hugs from behind. Touch us more. No vaginal after anal anything. You will give an awful uter if you do this. My clit is not a nub you need to sandblast. Compliments will make us think that you love us. We are very stunned. Edit. Insert message about how I'm so happy that this got so many upvotes. Be active. I don't want to fuck someone who's just laying there. I'm about to come does not mean change the rhythm. If you wear contact lenses and become lost in the woods, human saliva is better than water for cleaning your contacts. While both fluids contain bacteria, water is more likely to contain amoeba and parasites which cause keratitis. Sometimes we just want to be the little spoon. I don't understand your signals at all. Edit. Let's recap to silvers, which are first in the two years and to account time. 11 3k upvotes. Cool. To clarify, I'm 15 so I can drive a car and especially BMW. I don't like them. And no she isn't Canadian we both are Latvians. Bias. Please moan. It's not embarrassing. It's hot. Show interest. Not even sexually, just showing genuine interest in me as a person is often enough to make me fall for you. For the women out there, in most occasions you don't have to be worried about telling a guy you like him. We are starved of that kind of thing and even if we don't like you back, the fact that you said that will probably boost our confidence for the next 10 years. Some men, like me for example, find all sizes of boobs and us nice. You don't have share the same hobbies as your partner, just as long as you appreciate their enthusiasm about it and respect the time they dedicate towards it. This really goes both ways. Even though I may look like it, I'm not a homeless sexual predator. I am just an it guy. The Mandalorian armor stays on. Edit. THX for the bling.
Chivalry is nice but don't overdo it. We can tell when you're trying too hard. I had a guy nearly knock me over once trying to get to the door before me so he could hold it for me. Edit. Wow this sure did get a lot of attention lol. For those curious the other reasons for him not getting a second date were because he was pretty damn off putting during the date. I met him online. He seemed pretty normal online but when we met he was dressed badly in clothes that were too small and not age appropriate. He was 37. I was 24. He tried to hold my hand while we were walking from the car into the restaurant which I politely declined. We get into the restaurant and he tries to hold my hand as we're walking to the table and I tell him no again. When we got to the table we started talking and he was talking way too loud. He started telling jokes and they were dirty and funny dad jokes which I didn't mind the only thing was he was saying them way too loud. I asked him to stop because it was making me uncomfortable and he wouldn't. He just told me I shouldn't care what people think and continued. So I just paid for my coffee and left. It was too much to deal with. Talk to the guy you like instead of waiting for him to talk to you. Kiss the guy you like if he isn't making the move fast enough. Tell the guy you like what you need before it becomes a problem. Even if you think it's clean, wash it again. Not a pro tip, but ladies, I don't care if I see your asshole during doggy him too busy clapping cheeks and making sure you enjoy it. If you are in relationship, living together, sex can be initiated hours before through just the slightest physical interaction. A brief touch as you pass each other in the kitchen. The hug just for the sake of the hug. Subtle stuff like that. Strippers do not like you. We like your money. Edit. 6-9k upvotes. Nice. Stop rubbing the clits so hard. Talk about what you like in bed beforehand. Tell me how I can make you feel better than good. Be open and honest about what gets you going, and let me get you there. I want to make you feel good so tell me how to get there, unless you prefer I stumble around in the darkness, in which case, tell me that too. Don't hit on people while they're working, especially, if they're in any kind of customer service position. We're literally being paid to be nice to you. It doesn't mean we want to bang. Probably mentioned, but don't be playing hard to get. Guys will either be turned off or just think you don't like them and give up. Guys, keep a trash can in your bathroom if you ever expect her to come over a second time. Managing her period is hard enough without having to come out and publicly ask you where you want her to dispose of her trash. No girl wants to walk that sheet to the kitchen. Edit. Ladies, take your trash out with you when you leave. The guys are rightfully disgusted by what they find weeks later in the line. Lidded can thief all committed to get for you but that otherwise rarely gets used. Thank you for the award, kind stranger. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to, that's the only way to become what you were meant to be. If you did it to get her attention and make her like you, she expects it to always be part of your relationship. Whining and dining, romantic gestures, back rubs. When it stops we feel like you are no longer interested and it hurts. Edit. I am not saying love is transactional. When you start a relationship and do certain things to show your affection and then stop, your partner will feel like you do not care as much as you used to mail here. Ladies, if you like us just say so. Any hints you give us will result one of two things. 1. We'll go over our heads. 2. We will notice but won't do anything because we are afraid of fucking up a good friendship. So please, just tell us. Most of us aren't dicks so if we don't feel the same way we will try our best to let you down kindly. Plus, if we do feel the same way it's a win for both of us. Edit 1, holy sheet, thanks for the silver, gold, and sheet ton of upvotes. Edit 2, all those who disagree with me, you are completely right, well at least most of you, and it does go both ways. This was mainly just a blanket statement as this is what I've seen happen the most. Also, those of you who are afraid of asking, it really is just a handful of people that are dicks, and if it happens often, 
it is probably for the best that you surround yourself with different people, for your own mental health. I'm gonna just fucking say it as a dude I would like to get flowers and chocolates from a woman. Don't accept drinks from strangers. It's okay to be single. Being alone doesn't suck that badly and everyone asking you why you're single can shove it. This advice goes to those in a relationship that think it would being alone would be worse and those that are single and feel pressure to not be. It's worth it to wait and find someone you're actually happy with. Even if it's only for a night, pretty sure this advice is good for people of whatever gender, but so is most of the advice they've seen in here. Edit. Okay, didn't expect to come back to this blowing up. Can't respond to everyone, but here's a clarification. Yes, being single. Can suck. I should know. I've never been in a meaningful relationship my entire adult life. I know what it's like to deal with that. This post isn't for people like us, it's for those people that are in shitty relationships, but don't want to leave because they're scared of being lonely, for those people that feel like they're being pressured to keep getting into relationships that they don't want to be in because people won't leave them alone, and for those people that don't even realize being single is actually an option. Believe me, I know all about how much it sucks to be single for years at a time. I've been single for over a decade myself at the moment, but I've also got friends in toxic relationships that are terrified of leaving because they'd rather deal with the abuse than go a week without someone to come home to and I've got friends that have went from person to person and have never had the chance to define who they are as a person without ever giving themselves the chance to figure out who they are as a person without someone else to define themselves by. This post isn't about judging people and I'm sorry if it came off that way. This post is about letting some people out there know that they have options. Subscribe, like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe, like and comment.